Hi, I'm Kim, and welcome to Fashion Sense. Today, I got naked for you, and I don't typically like to have an episode without any makeup. So this one, I might have to put in a vault, but we wanted to show you how to put together a 10 minute face. I'm so excited. I'm here with Kylie at Big Girl Cosmetics and she's giving me a makeover and helping you to see how you can easily put together a 10 minute face. Ladies, you don't have to spend hours getting ready for a date. Kylie's going to show us in just 10 minutes how you can look fabulous and why it really is important to use cosmetics. So Kylie, the first step is to put on moisturizer. You want to make sure that you are selecting a, a moisturizer. Um, that you can use uh, before you put on your foundation. It needs to have a nice slip to it. Um, nothing too oily, nothing with oily bases or alcohol that would, that would irritate your skin. Um, so you want to make sure that you put that on right before you put your foundation on. And using eyeshadow can help to open up the eye. So after you do the base, you want to make sure that you're defining the crease of your eye. So just above the ball of your eye, you want to apply just a darker, a little bit of a darker shade. Browns are really nice for a really natural look. Now if your eyes are a little bit more narrow, then you always put the darkest color to open the eye on the outside of your eye and blend towards the middle. You don't want to put it in the corner of your eye going out. If your eyes are larger, then you put it in the corner of your eye that way. If they're smaller, you go that way. So I love your explanation about eyeliner. So you want to make sure that you're, you, when you use an eyeliner, I usually use an eyeshadow. Um, you can use a cream shadow if you want um, that's not too oily and use an angled brush. Um, angled brushes are our friends for our eyebrows and our, and our lid. So when you're using, a, if you use a pencil on your eyes, it's very difficult to get it off because usually a lot of them are wax based. And so you're constantly rubbing and rubbing at your eye and over time, um, your eyes start to sag and we don't want that to happen. So, right. so ladies, you have money in the bank for a When you look. have those wrinkles all around your eyes, it could be because you've been wearing too much eyeliner <laughs> over time. So go with an eyeshadow. And the reason why you wear blush is because you really want to help to define your face a little yes. bit. Yes. So we don't want you to look like a clown, mm -hmm. but we just want to show some definition in the face. Cool. Just kind of sculpt the face just a little bit and just a little hint of color is good. So yeah, so when you're applying the blush, you want to make sure that you're applying it not underneath the eye, but right at the top of the cheekbone and blush it, blush it, brush it back and down. It's, especially since we did a really natural eye on, on you, we want to make sure that we accentuate the lips. Um, so you want to make sure, you want to do one or the other, not both. So if you have a really jazzy eye, like a smoky eye, you don't want to do a really dramatic lip. So you want to do one or the other. And since we did um, your eyes neutral, we want to make sure that we keep your lips. It's kind of nude, but still, still uh, natural. We want to make sure that they are a little glossier. They're still nude, but we put a little pop of color right in the center. And then you want to make sure that they're still kissable. <laughs> Kylie did a great job on my face, and I love it. And ladies, it only took 10 minutes. So you can do this look too. It looks natural, and the products are natural. So visit BigGirlCosmetics.com and check out all of the offerings from the cosmetic line. You'll look amazing. Now that we've got you all made up, make sure you leave us a comment on the blog at FashionSense.tv, follow us on Twitter, and friend us up on Facebook. Make sense.